Hello and welcome to Pivic Pro YouTube video series. Topic of the video, introduction to Pivic Pro Tag Manager. So what are we gonna learn? We will define the Tag Manager and explain what it is. We will then move on to explain briefly what are the building blocks, key features, if you will, of the Tag Manager to then explain why you should care or in other words, why should you be interested in learning more about Pivic Pro Tag Manager, even if you're only interested in data for analytics. Okay, let's start with the short definition of a Tag Manager. And so, Tag Manager is a system used in online marketing to automate the process of creating, setting up and running tags. Now, I understand that this may not be quite clear yet, uh, what is a Tag Manager? Uh, some of the terms might be a bit enigmatic. So let's unpack this definition a bit. Now, I will explain the term Tag in a moment, but first, when we're talking about managing tags, we're referring to managing of tags on a website, not a mobile app. If you're not familiar with how websites are built, let me give you a speedy, a super short web development tutorial, which will hopefully help you understand or give you a better idea of how Tag Manager works. Every website on the internet is built using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, often referred to as core web development technologies. Let's have a look at some simple examples. Here I have HTML only page. And so HTML provides the structure. So elements such as text, headings, paragraphs, images, or buttons. CSS dictates the visual representation of the HTML elements. So things like size of a text or fonts or element colors or uh, overall alignment of different elements on the screen. And then JavaScript makes the website interactive. It adds functionality, like making the elements to appear or move upon a click, like I'm doing it right now. Now, why do we need to know that? But don't get me wrong, you don't need to be a web developer. Because when, let's call it original content on the page, when it is being loaded in the browser, so HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is being rendered, which happens in stages, yet so fast that we can't really see those stages most of the time, Tag Manager could be adding additional elements, so-called tags, on the page as well, which are basically snippets of code. Uh, we're going to talk about why we would want to add those tags in a moment. At this stage, the important part is that using a Tag Manager, you can easily and quickly add tags without the need to edit the original website content or access the so-called website source code. You would do that through the Tag Manager platform, and that is the one of many benefits of using Tag Manager. Initially, however, you would need to install Pivic Pro on your website by adding the installation code, so-called container, into the source code of your website. By installing the Pivic Pro platform on your website, you're automatically adding the tracking code, i.e. Pivic Pro Tag. And that is your very first tag in a Tag Manager. You can think about this installation code, this container, as a gateway for other tags, i.e other snippets of code. Moreover, as a result, you'll have access to all different modules of Pivic Pro Analytics platform, so-called Pivic Pro Analytics Suite. I will drop the link to the installation video in the description below. Now, let's explain briefly what are the building blocks of the Tag Manager. So, first, what is a tag? Tag is a snippet of code that is added to a website via Tag Manager. And now, the question is, why would you want to add those snippets of code? Depending on the function of these snippets of code, i.e. tags, we could be adding Pivic Pro tracking tags. We can see examples on the screen, and this is basically why we often talk about Tag Manager in the context of Web Analytics, Pivic Pro Web Analytics. We can enhance the possibilities of the analytics by adding additional tracking tags. So custom event tag, goal conversion tag, custom dimension tag, or more related to e-commerce interactions, such as e-commerce add to cart tag, e-commerce cart update tag, and so on. Then we have another category, and let's call them marketing tags. Those would be third-party tags, and by third-party tags, we refer to tags that are not related to Pivot Pro Analytics. So Facebook, or should I say Metapixel tag, or HubSpot tracking code, Hotjar tracking code, and so on. They're still tracking data, but the data is not necessarily sent to our Pivic Pro platform. And finally, 
functional tags, perhaps used less frequently, but those are tags that add specific functionality to a site like social media widgets, chatbots, feedback surveys. Again, using Tag Manager, we can add these easily without the need of editing the website source code. We're going to expand on different types of tags in another video. I will add the link in the description below. Now, I would like to wrap up tags by saying that tag, i.e. snippet of code, in many cases, we'll be using tag templates. So there will be no, let's say, direct interaction with the code. I believe I should add that comment to put at ease those of you who don't feel comfortable meddling with the code. Now, next building block is a trigger. So what is a trigger? Trigger is a condition or a set of conditions that when met, executes or fires specific tags associated with those conditions. When we execute tags on a website, we commonly refer to this process as tag firing. It is important to know that no tag will be fired if it does not have a trigger attached to it. There are different types of triggers, which I'm going to describe in another video to which I'm going to drop the link in the description below. But to give you the idea, we have triggers that fire upon click or triggers that fire upon page or page load or a page scroll. In that sense, it gives us a lot of possibilities in the context of data tracking. Many different interactions could be used to track what is happening on our website when visitors are interacting with different elements on the website. Finally, we have variables, a third building block of Tag Manager. So what is a variable then? Variable is used to store value that can be used by tags and triggers. They can capture and hold information based on user interactions, site environment, or other conditions, which can then dynamically influence how and when tags are fired. In Pivot Pro Tag Manager, we can use built-in variables, and they normally store data about the environment, like website page URL, click class, or ID of an element that was, let's say, clicked, uh, refer or consent, and many more. And then there are custom variables, which can point to the environment and extract data from it. Custom variables are not built in, which means we need to add them manually in Tag Manager. Nonetheless, both of those variable types, built in and custom variables, can be used in tags and triggers whenever we see variable selection menu. In case of a custom variables, however, we need to add them first to then have them available in a variable selection menu. Now, since we know what are the different building blocks of the Tag Manager, so tags, triggers, and variables, let's explain the benefits of using it. The main benefit of using Tag Manager is that it can enhance the tracking capabilities of the basic tracking code. After you install Pivot Pro on your website, it will start tracking a lot of different data out of the box. But we don't track every mouse move nor every mouse click. This would have been overwhelming and frankly hard to understand in the analytics reports. So you can choose what sort of interactions seem important to track for your website, i.e. develop some sort of tracking plan and then implement it via Tag Manager. In that sense, tags are information that will be sent to Pivot Pro database and triggers would be the conditions for when that data is being sent. For example, when someone clicks on a specific button, i.e. click trigger conditions were met, a custom event tag would fire, sending information about the custom event category, action, and name to Pivot Pro database. Later, we would be able to see that data in Pivot Pro Analytics reports. And in that context, adding snippet of code, i.e. tags, manually into the source of the website would have been much more time consuming. However, using Tag Manager, not only we can set up the conditions for when to add those tags, we don't need to add them manually. They're being managed by Tag Manager once we set them up. Another benefit of using Tag Manager is that we can add third-party code and track data and send it not only to Pivot Pro database and then see it in the analytics, but to send data to other systems. For example, we could be sending data on conversion to advertising platforms such as Google Ads or Facebook Ads Manager, now called Meta Ads Manager, and report back to those platforms on the performance of their ads. There could also be some other use cases of adding functional scripts like chatbots on the website or support widgets. For example, you could add support widgets in certain times of the day when your support teams operate using triggers. Finally, every time when you add a tag in Pivot Pro, 
you can assign its consent type. Thanks to that, visitors of your website can decide whether they want to be tracked or not. It provides you a seamless integration with the Pivot Pro Consent Form banner and using Consent Manager in Pivot Pro Platform, all you need to do is to decide on the specific privacy settings and perhaps edit the consent form so it matches the colors or design of your very website. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to our channel. Check the description below to find some useful links like free Pivik Pro signup page, community forum page, and links to related videos. Until next time.